What could you accomplish if you couldn't get access to a shower on a regular basis? Can you keep a job? Can you apply for a job? Can you apply for housing? It removes obstacles to forward trajectory, which is so vital to all of us, particularly if you're experiencing homelessness. I'm currently homeless. I'm in a bad financial situation right now, so that's the reason why I'm in the tent. But I'll be better, like I said, two months from now. Now I'm a mate, that's a beautiful thing. I got a shower. I feel like 100%, you know what I'm saying? Like a million bucks. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> Lava May began by converting public transportation buses into showers and toilets for people who are experiencing homelessness. I'm Donnie Sandoval and I am the founder and CEO of Lava May. It's impossible to live in this city and not visibly see people who are experiencing homelessness everywhere. When I got the idea for Lava May, I found out how many people who were officially homeless in San Francisco and how many bathrooms and toilets were available to them. At that time, there were about 7,000 people who were experiencing homelessness and 16 shower stalls and about as many toilets. Uh, we started to do fundraising and the story went global. The logistics of actually operating service kind of evolved. The bus is a great story, but that is not what the innovation is about. With the commercial shower trailers, where we could only put two full bathrooms on the buses, we could put three and serve more people. It was nice, I mean, because I needed it. I mean, it's been like four or five days since I, you know, I had to get one. <laughs> and it was hot, that was a surprise. Thank you so much for your support. It felt good to have hot water on my body. Matter of fact, it felt good to have water on me, period. The charm of the Lab of May is their ability to reach out to the individual and make a connection to them. When you're a long-term client like I am, what you do is you become more than just a client, more than a guest, you become almost like their family. We have seen in the nonprofit world over and over again that the best solutions that are the most sustainable come from the communities in which the need exists. How we're trying to grow is to grow the solution without growing Lava May. So we've created a toolkit that we launched last July. There are now over 500 and something communities that have downloaded or are in some stage of making this possible. My name is Lance Olinsky and I'm the founder uh, of Streetside Showers and we're located here in uh, McKinney, Texas. I was in a restroom and there was a homeless gentleman that was in there and he was trying to wash himself out of the sink. So I walked out of that restroom saying to myself, surely we can do better. I Googled mobile showers and Lava May pops up. The, the toolkit has been an excellent resource. They run a, 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 a class, class act operation. I just want to bring the model back to North Texas. We're on the cusp of more thoughtfully having meaningful, powerful solutions to end homelessness. Communities are really rising up to support people, to treat them as fellow human beings, as neighbors rather than outliers and others. And that that has really begun to transform communities across this country, especially that we're treating each other with love, kindness, and dignity.